Hello, everybody. This is Spectra Cosplay here with Nerd Caliber, and I'm also here with... Sandra Hiltz. So how are you enjoying Grand State Comic Con so far? Good. Having a great time, actually. All right, so um, tell us about the character you're cosplaying for the folks at home. So it's uh, Batwoman from Batwoman. <laughs> from the new, based off of the new 52 version, but uh, as you can see, I decided to make my own alterations to it because all super female superheroes tend to just have the spandex suit and the men have the armor and I wanted armor so I decided to make it kind of Batman Dark Knight-esque armor but Batwoman. So um, tell us about the process of it like the construction and everything. So the breastplate I made a duct tape body form of myself so that I could then fiberglass on top of it <laughs> And then cut out the, the breastplate and Bondo and sand it. And then the Batwoman logo on top of it to make it raised. I put uh, saran wrap down, put another layer of fiberglass so then I could pop it off, cut out the shape, and then glue it back on into place so I could have that perfect raised edge. And then painted it all. And all of the rest of the armor pieces, they started as craft foam to get the basic shape. And then all of them were fiberglassed on top of them and bondoed and sanded till they were perfectly smooth. And my little uh, batarang arm spikes here that uh, conveniently close up and go into the bracers. Those are actually just uh, foam board from uh, Michael's. Cut little bondo on the edges to smooth them out and spray painted and screwed together. Um, working with fiberglass and bondo, how how do you feel the learning curve for that is? Do you find it difficult or it takes a lot of trial and error? For me, I didn't find it difficult, but I you know, come from a mechanical background, a mechanical designer, so I kind of work with stuff like that all the time. So, I mean, it was pretty easy for me. It's more just, it's labor intensive. You know, laying the fiberglass and then you get a bondo and you get a sand, and you get a bondo and you get a sand. And you, you get to repeat that process, you know, five, six, seven times before you finally get everything perfectly smooth. And with this all being gloss paint, it will very much show like any imperfections. I kind of had to really work at, especially the mask. The mask I spent the most time trying to get it just right. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you. This is Patrick Cosplay of Nerd Caliber signing out.